It's very interesting that the theme of this prayer breakfast is reconciliation. I remember the last prayer breakfast here was again around the same. I remember that prayer breakfast asking for forgiveness from my friend, the former president. And it is interesting that today we are again discussing in our first prayer breakfast the subject of forgiveness and reconciliation. Let me say that um, I am truly grateful to God that in this, our first prayer breakfast, we have come together as a nation. And it is perfectly in order for us to celebrate where we are today as a country. Let me first congratulate all elected leaders who are here on this first prayer breakfast. Congratulations to all of you who have been <clears throat> given the opportunity to serve the people of Kenya, all of us, from our MCAs to our members of parliament to our governors and all of us in between. We, we want to thank God for the opportunity to serve the people of Kenya and I want to congratulate you and to tell you that um, I am looking forward to working with each and every one of you, working together across political lines on matters that are important to the people of Kenya. And in that working together, it is not necessary that we will always agree, but it is important that we work together towards the betterment of our country. I am reminded, and I want to thank God for the last general election. The last general election were in a category of their own. I mean, it was a turning point from where I sit in the politics of Kenya. And I have four reasons why I think it was a turning point. Number one, it is the election where the two national formations had actually a national face on either side. The, the, the ethnic configuration that always informed our politics was not there. We had both sides presenting a national face in their formation. Number two, we had the most evident issue-based election. The election was about issues. There are issues that we differed. Our brothers on the other side, for example, said borrowing money was good because we were using others, other people's money to run our development, which made some sense. We argued on our side that we needed to slow down on borrowing because borrowing could lead us to a different place. But we also had occasion when both formations agreed, like for example, on housing. So it was issue-based. We, 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 we had an issue-based election. It is also correct that we had a closely contested election. Again, because it only happens in Kenya that in our last election, the opposition leader became 
the government candidate. And the sitting president of the government became the opposition candidate. And as things would be, the opposition candidate, who was the then sitting uh, deputy president, won the election. And the sitting president then handed over power to his deputy and went ahead to become the leader of the opposition party. <laughs> that only happens in Kenya, I think. So it was quite amazing. 